What is up guys? So the CW released a number of new images for The Flash Season 6 Episode 1 titled Into the Void. A number of images showcase The Flash's new suit, the full suit with the whole cowl and everything and how it looks on screen in a lot of different angles and this is definitely our, our best looks at the new suit with the new cowl. On top of that we see our first look at the monitor in this season and I'll break down all of that in this video. So with that in mind, let's just start breaking down the images. So like I said, the images give us a better look at the Flash's new suit with the cowl in a couple different angles, and in these images the suit looks really, really good. I really like the darker red of the suit, or at least in these images, in this scene, it seems like the suit will be lit in a way that it makes it look a lot darker, and I gotta say, looking at all the suits on the show, the darker it is, or maybe not the darker it is, but this dark red, it being light, darker than the really light red they used in Season 5, I think is practically perfect. This color is very similar to what they used in season 4, which again, that suit, the color was perfect, so I'm glad they're bringing that color back with this suit, along obviously with the chin strap, they brought that back as well, but another thing they kind of brought back from the season 4 suit is the fact that parts of the suit are a darker red than the rest of the suit, like already the the brighter red of the suit is darker than the season 5 suit, but there are parts uh, that the lighting bolt separates from the rest that are a little bit darker, again, maybe that's how it's shot in these photos, but that's what it seems like, and I think that's cool, it, it makes for such a cool looking effect. They did that in the Season 4 suit, I thought it was awesome, so I'm glad they brought that back as well for this suit. And overall, the more I see this, this suit, the more I like it. I don't think I'll ever like it as much as the Season 4 suit, but I definitely think it comes pretty close, and it's definitely the second best suit The Flash has ever had. But there's one aspect of the suit that looks a little bit weird to me, and obviously it has to do with the cowl. Now don't get me wrong, I really like this cowl, it's one of the best cowls we've gotten, certainly way better than everything we got in Season 5, as I really like the color, the fact that the chin strap is back, and the fact that there's basically no disconnection from the rest of the suit in the back, which every other cowl had that, but that does present a different problem, as there has to be some sort of way for the actor to put it on, and instead of it being from the back, it's now from the front, which in these images looks a little weird, as they connect it to the rest of the suit by kind of tucking it in under the emblem, which I think looks a little bit weird. It kind of looks like Barry's wearing a tie as it just pops too much. I feel like when he's running, it might like flop around. I just don't feel like it fits very well. And honestly, this isn't really much of a problem. It's really just a problem in these images. I don't know if they're gonna, how long they're going to take to fix it, but they are already confirmed to fix it. As we see set photos from uh, episode 7 of the season, these set photos aren't very spoilery, so there's no real problem in putting them here. You can check all of them out in the link in the description down below, but in these images we see the Flash, Barry Allen in his costume, and the tie thing from the cowl isn't really there anymore, instead of tucking it under the logo, which looks very weird, they tuck it under this pocket on top of it, which I think looks great, it looks perfect, and it kind of makes it even better, because now it doesn't really feel like there's any disconnection from the suit at all, as it's really, uh, the way it's connected in the front makes it look like there's no disconnection there, which is not, wasn't really the case for any other cowl, especially the ones in Season 5, as in the back they looked very disconnected, while the cowls from Seasons 1 to 4 looked a little bit disconnected from the back. This one, where they do uh, basically every episode after Episode 2, or it seems like at least in Episode 7 onwards, I think that's basically the perfect solution, but for some reason or another, they went with this weird thing where he kind of looks like he's wearing a tie where they tuck it under the logo, and I guess that's how he's going to look in this and maybe a couple other episodes episodes of the season, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. I mean, most seasons, or not most seasons, but a lot of the seasons have had a new suit, and they had to kind of make little tweaks to the suit over the course of the season. In season one, Barry had this weird-looking helmet that they fixed. Season five, similarly, where they had he had this terrible-looking helmet, they fixed it, not enough, and then we have this new suit where it does, it does seem like it's going to have to go through a little bit of a tweak here or there, but I think it's all for the best in the end. I'll also say that uh, Barry probably won't be getting his suit in this episode until maybe the very end of the episode for a number of reasons. For one, uh, the episode takes place seconds after the ending of season uh, 5, and there was no indication of Cisco making Barry a new suit in season 5, and maybe it's from the future, maybe another character gives him the suit, but if it is Cisco, as it usually is, then I feel like there may be the events of this episode to establish the fact that he has been working on the suit, and then for him to get it at the end of the episode, because 
because Cisco was working on a Caitlyn suit at the end of season five, and now that she's getting it in this episode, it would be weird for them to reveal that Cisco has been working on Barry's suit this entire time. So maybe it's just throughout this episode, and he just reveals it to the team that he's been working on the suit, and then Barry gets it at the end. But also the fact that we see Steph photos of Barry going up against Godspeed with his season five suit, which has to take place in this episode, and that has to take place before he gets the suit. So that's a number of reasons why he probably won't be getting the suit until the end of the episode, which means that maybe they come up with a solution to tuck the kind of uh, the tie part of the cowl into that pocket instead of in the emblem in episode two, as there's just like a minute or two or two where he has the new suit at the end of this episode. But moving past the Flash's new suit in these images, one of the images revealed or released for this episode is maybe even more exciting. Now, it doesn't really reveal anything, but this image showcasing the monitor got me a lot more excited for this episode than anything else. There's a lot of things happening in this episode that I am very excited for that could potentially make it the best episode of season premiere of the show ever, or at least one of the better ones, as it has this uh, potential of this new Godspeed, the Flash's pretty awesome new suit, and the monitor, and honestly, the number one thing that I am most excited for is the Monitor because I think he's like one of my favorite characters in the Arrowverse at this point. His role in Elseworlds and then his role in like the recurring in like every season finale except for the Flash's season finale of the last season. All of that was so awesome. I think the actor is great. I love his costume and I absolutely love the music in the background that plays whenever he appears. Basically his theme. But in this image we see him in the Time Vault which means that that probably is how the episode will begin. The last episode in season 5 ended with Barry and Iris in the time vault and then this episode takes place seconds later with Barry and Iris kind of finishing watching Nora's message, maybe we will see a little bit more from Nora's message. I doubt it because the actress isn't around, but who knows, maybe we will. But right then and there, right as they finish the message, the monitor will appear. At least that's what I think will happen, and that will that will be how the episode will begin. The monitor will then go on to tell Barry that he will need to sacrifice himself in the future to stop the universe and probably the entire multiverse from being destroyed. This has been confirmed to weigh heavily on Barry which makes a lot of sense because the monitor is just basically telling him that he needs to die, which is exactly what he told to Oliver Queen, so maybe he's kind of messing with them, maybe to motivate them to sacrifice themselves, even though they don't need to, maybe it will help, I don't really know 100%, but the fact that the monitor told that to both Oliver and Barry is definitely a little bit uh, suspect, and I definitely maybe it's one of the two that needs to sacrifice himself and not both of them, as we kind of know that Barry won't, as there is still a show after this uh, episode, after the crisis while for Arrow there isn't so that already kind of confirms that Oliver is the one to sacrifice himself but this is definitely something that I'm very excited for as uh, the Monitor is a great character but also the lead up to Crisis on Infinite Earths not only in this season but also in Arrow Season 8 potentially in Supergirl Season 5 and Batwoman Season 1 not in Legend Season 5 because the season doesn't begin until after Crisis on Infinite Earths but in those four seasons the number one thing I'm excited for is the lead up to Crisis it can make this year of the Arrowverse the best year so far as that lead up really ties it all together and makes it feel like a kind of connected universe a lot more so than it ever has and that's definitely something I'm very excited for and specifically in this episode with the monitor appearing right at the beginning and telling Barry that he will need to sacrifice himself it's just so exciting but this image kind of also does confirm a theory I had based off a trailer not really a theory just kind of speculation and it does confirm it. In the first trailer for the season, there's a shot in the time vault. In the first trailer of the season, there's a shot in the time vault of Barry uh, pleading, saying, uh, tell me what I have to do. And the fact that this is in the time vault, the, the fact that this is definitely from the first episode, definitely confirms, I mean, based off this image with the monitor being in the time vault, that this is a talk with the monitor, which is something that I did theorize, something that I did speculate when breaking down that trailer. I said that uh, that is probably an exchange with the monitor, where the monitor tells Barry that he will have to sacrifice himself, and then Barry says, tell me what I have to do, or maybe the other way around. The monitor shows up, tells Barry something, and then Barry says, tell me what I have to do. Maybe the monitor says a crisis is coming. Barry says, tell me what I have to do. The monitor then says you will have to sacrifice yourself because the universe is in danger, and that is how the episode and the season will begin, which is incredibly exciting. 
So anyway, that is it for this video. It is kind of a short video, but there wasn't really much else to talk about for these images, specifically because there weren't really that many images. There were a couple with the Flash's new suit, one with the monitor, and there wasn't really anything else to talk about with the rest of them. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about everything that was revealed. What do you think about the monitor's uh, role in this episode, and are you excited for that storyline leading up to the crisis? And what do you think of the Flash's new suit in these images, and how the cowl will connect to the logo in this episode? specifically and how they will fix that because it seems like they already did but let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and if you like this video make sure to leave a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching